City passes 2020 budget, 11 car versus deer crashes reported in Sheboygan County, Sheboygan man headed to prison in library overdose death. These stories and more coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, November 5th, 2019. The City of Sheboygan's budget was approved last night. The Committee of the Whole recently recommended that the Common Council pass the next city budget at the meeting on November 4th. The city's budget is a little more than 11 or 114.2 million dollars, which is 9.2 million dollar decrease from last year's. Refinancing some of the city's debt will save 7 million dollars. As far as what specifically impacted this budget, limited growth in new construction and property tax levy limits are listed as two of the main factors. Both the county and the city budget will be voted on this week, and the public hearing was held Tuesday on the county's budget. The county's budget will be voted on by Sheboygan County Board tonight. That meeting begins at 6 p.m. A sentence was handed down over the weekend in the case of a drug overdose that happened at Meade Public Library in Sheboygan. 28-year-old Peter Bennett pleaded no contest to three felonies and was given eight years in prison and five years of extended supervision. Prosecutors say he, along with two others, provided the heroin that led to the death in May. The 28-year-old victim was found in the bathroom stall at the library, and Bennett and two other defendants were charged shortly after thereafter. Jessica Grande was sentenced in September to nine years in prison, while Damian Washington still faces seven felonies in connection with the incident, one of which is first-degree reckless homicide by delivering of drugs. His next court appearance is scheduled for November 20th. According to the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department, there were 11 car versus deer accidents between Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. No one was injured, but there was significant property damage from the crashes. Authorities are reminding folks to slow down and put away any driving distractions. The Sheriff's Office says most of the accidents have occurred on the western side of the County near Plymouth. Sometimes people just need a little help. Now those people are getting help finding the resources they need, courtesy of Mental Health America in Sheboygan County. That agency has, for years, printed a directory of community resources that includes information about 22 categories of concern. Those concerns range from advocacy, disability, domestic violence, and sexual assault, to legal housing, LGBTQ, and transportation. Now that publication has been put online for anyone to access from the Mental Health America Sheboygan County website resources page. Drug charges have landed a 33-year-old man in the county Manitowoc County Jail, police say Adam Massman was arrested after he was found by police nearly passed out in his car. According to the Manitowoc Police Department, someone had called in to report Massman driving erratically on South 14th Street just before his arrest Tuesday night at around 1130. When police arrived, they say he had stopped driving and was slumped over his steering wheel and barely responsive. He then failed a sobriety test and was taken into custody. During a search of his vehicle, police found meth, marijuana, and drug paraphernalia. Massman is now facing charges of possession as well as felony and misdemeanor bail jumping charges. 
And finally, the city of Sheboygan leaf collection continues. Even as snow shows up in the forecast, leaves still falling from the trees can be raked into the street gutter for easy pickup and faster pickup by the city crews now through November, Friday, November 22nd. This year, a new five zone system has been implemented for the better efficacy with one day of the week assigned to each zone. Still, leaves in the gutter can impede storm runoff and the gutter should be raked clear. Superintendent of Streets Sanitation, Jason Blasalia, also encourages residents to either mulch leaves into the turf or take baked leaves to the Residential Recycling Center on the New Jersey Avenue, Mondays through Saturdays. And that is all we have for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.